Here we go guys, washing up some lava rock, really versatile stone, uh, getting ready for the next stage in this crab habitat. Just starting off with a cheap bag of lava rock I picked up at a big box hardware store. Do you know what these rocks are going to be for? So they can climb in and out of their new water bowls. We're going to glue them into their bowls so they can climb in and out. It's going to be like a stairs. Be careful, sometimes these rocks are kind of sharp. That's fine, keep on. One more handful and that should be good. With this? Yeah, that's probably good for now. If we need more, we can rinse some more. See how it's turning all muddy? Mm -hmm. The goal is to get all that mud away and gone. All that red mud. With water? Yep. Let me... turn it into water? Yep where it's just clear and no more of that mud because if we're going to use these in their water to drink Come on, baby. Starting to become clear. oh it's leaking yeah i drilled holes in the bottom of the bucket So for this part, the plan is to uh, go ahead and make some pools that the hermit crabs can climb in and out of using lava rock, kind of like stairs. I have some super glue to help hold some of them in place. I've cleaned them really well, and what I want to do is just kind of stack them in one of the corners, and I'll glue them, and I'll just try to find ways to get them to fit together but ways that the crabs can easily climb out of these pools and they're eventually going to be aerated one fresh one salt uh, and it should hopefully work we'll see how it goes but it's going to be pretty simple I mean literally I'm just going to apply some super glue stick it down apply super glue stick it down and keep going and just build a kind of wall so I already did one over here. I'm going to show you it's still kind of drying. But that's it. That's all I'm going to do. And they're just going to climb out. And I'll stack a couple of lava stones uh, in front of it so they can climb in easily. I'm thinking that the lava rock will add enough texture for them to grip onto easily. And we'll see how it goes. If not, no biggie. Cheap Tupperware. Um, you know, the lava rock costs nothing. I was using it for another project, really. So it was like $2.50 a bag. Figured I would use it for this, see how it goes. But I'm going to go ahead and make both of these, and I'll show you how I'm going to set these up in the actual Krabitat once I get them done, show you what they look like with the aeration stones in there and everything. Hopefully it's going to be pretty neat. So one of the things I've done to raise the elevation of the pools a little bit is cut a few of these out. So I can stack them up like this. Not a lot, but a little bit. And I'm going to cut a few holes in the bottom of these pools. And zip tie them down onto this. So that way when I place it down in the substrate, uh, these should stay put. 
Whereas the pools that I slide in and out so I can clean them, um, these won't come out and the sand won't rush and fill in all the holes. So I'm hoping this will help. Once again, we'll see how it works. Alright, so I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but this is my little contraption here. This is all going to be under the substrate. Uh, the substrate's going to come up and kind of encompass these. And then the uh, exact same bowl, just with the stairs made, are going to go into it, sit in these. So that way if I need to clean the water bowls, I can pull those out, leave this behind in the substrate. Uh, so that way things won't close in, it'll be easy to put them back. Not sure how it's going to go, but, you know, we'll see. I think I'm going to put it in prior to adding the pea gravel. See how that goes. But that's my little contraption. We'll see how it works. Alright, so the new Krabitat is temporarily in place. I still need to get some more substrate in there, or sand. Um, what I'm going to do is clean out some of the old sand because I didn't have enough of the new stuff, but I'm going to clean out a bunch of the old sand, really sift it out and all that kind of stuff and get it ready. So that way I can go ahead and bring that sand level up. Once again, sorry for the glare, guys. But I'm going to have to move some things from their old Krabitat in here temporarily while I can get into there and clean it up. You can see one of them hanging out there, one back there, but I'm going to hook them up with some water here soon uh, and the aeration, get the bubblers going and all that stuff. So hopefully they're going to enjoy this. That is the plan. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll give you guys an update. Sorry I didn't show you putting the substrate in, uh, the sand, but it is a mix of sand and I think like coconut fibers and stuff that I actually bought from an online retailer that deals specifically with Krabitat materials. Uh, it just seemed easier and safer than me trying to mix it myself and deciding what to do. Um, and that's what we've been using and I'm going to use more of that today. But uh, you know, I'm going to start piecing some things together here and getting it up and going at least bare minimum. I'm going to try to steal some of the uh, old stuff, the humida, uh, humidity gauge and the temperature gauge and all that stuff um, out of here. The heater you see there on the back of the tank. Hopefully I can get that to stick on the new one. Um, the moss pit will eventually go in. The, I think it's called chola wood, something like that. That's going to go in there, uh, the food dish, maybe a fresh water dish separate from the big bowl. And I'm going to clean up a lot of this substrate and go through it and, you know, make sure it's really cleaned out and sifted through and put some more in there for the time being until we have to clean it out and change it again. So anyway, that's what we're doing. And I'll show you where we're at. So here it is with more substrate. I uh, got it up probably four or five inches at least. Uh, maybe even more. Uh, I mean, it's quite deep. It could probably be deeper, but these guys are still pretty small. So, uh, you know, it's there. I got the little side heater there, peeled off the old tank and uh, connected to this one. I'm going to check it here in a little bit, make sure it works. I still got to move the uh, thermostat and stuff over to make sure that, or the thermometer over to make sure that everything is right there with the humidity and stuff. I have uh, still to make the bubbler pools out of the salt and the fresh. You'll see I just kind of piled some loose lava rock there for now. I'll probably add some more later just so it's easy for them to climb up. It's real light. I'm worried about them moving it so I'm going to try to wedge some in there. It's going to get shifted over time. I'll have to rearrange it but because they can move a lot of stuff. But anyway, this is where we're at at this point. Uh, we're going to get things going. Hopefully soon I'll get that bubbler pool set up.